All right, what's going on down here? Who are you, sir? Like an onion spirit? How do I, how do I get down? Oh, oh, I see, he has a little platform for me. Come on, Daffodil, we got this. Hello, sir, how are you? And I really love your gigantic, beautiful floating jar of goodies. I have to say, that's kind of an epic way to travel the high seas. Oh. <laughs> Hello there, young lady. I guess you must be the new spirit fairer. Happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Francis. You can say I'm a sort of wandering merchant. Oh, how lucky that we found him then. He must just be randomly out at the high seas like we are. See, I'm very fond of things. Objects, curios, tokchiks. I just buy everything. Simply put, I will buy anything you don't want anymore. I'm sure you've come across a few valuable treasures already. I wonder if his thing is that he ends up attracted to this world and won't leave and go to the beyond because he's too attached to things. So tell me, what is it you want to part with? Oh, how cool! We actually do have- <gasps> There's errands we can do! Oh heck, that's gonna be exciting. Oh my gosh, he will buy the old shoes. Yes, he bought all the old shoes! And he will buy this dusty, but precious nonetheless, old carpet that we have that makes me uh, slightly dizzy if we look at it too long. So let's go ahead and sell that. Then we also have a valuable necklace, an exquisite jewel of the highest providence. It should be sold. So we'll sell that. A valuable ring, a beautiful specimen of the one true ring. But this one doesn't rule anything except your wallet. And we can sell that. He's got a lot of gleams. And then the vibrant necklaces, which in another life were used to find guardians. No longer has any use, should be sold. All right, we'll sell those, even though that's kind of hard for me. But nobody else was buying those, so that's a good thing to sell. Um, and then we have a whole bunch of empty shells. A rather disgusting marine concentration, quite common on the hulls of seafaring vessels. Still smells pretty bad. I mean, he'll take our treasures and our trash. I love it. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? <gasps> He'll also buy our food! I'm really excited that I'm cooking such yummy things, so I'm gonna keep all the things we're cooking. Lightning in a bottle. I think he'll actually buy that for more than the other guy will. And then we also have linen thread and linen fiber that we've been collecting, but we're gonna need those in a while. And I think that's all I want to sell for now. I'm a little hesitant because if he goes away, Let's sell some of our turnips, because we have so many, and people don't seem to need... In fact, we'll sell all of our turnips and most of our carrots, because people don't seem to need as much... Well, we'll you know what? We'll sell both the carrots, too. Nobody is eating those as quickly as I thought they would. Ooh, wow, good to know that carrots sell for almost as much as grilled veggies normally do. And then I'll sell a couple herring, because we can get more herring. Hmm. And then maybe even a cup of corn just to put us over 5,000 gleams. That is a really, really, really good deal. All right. Thank you, sir. I am immensely chipper to see a dynamic. Uh, yeah, I'm immensely chipper to see a dynamic young lady work so hard at work. Not that Sharon wasn't a true professional, but his manners were, well, a bit cold, if you know what I mean. You know, there is something to be said about being led through the the river of death into the afterlife and then beyond by someone who who doesn't cozy up to you. I, I guess our take, Stella's take, on trying to guide the spirits is to really warm up to them, to make them fresh meals, make them really comfortable. But I feel like Sharon just, he cut to the quick of your soul instead of all of the other comforts and distractions left over from the mortal realm. He would just dive right to the depths of who you had been, what the very soul essence of yourself was, expose it, question it, present it to you to talk about. And I think if you go that deep that fast, it's kind of like, like an expert surgeon just diving straight to the heart of the matter. And that would make it very easy to just get to the root of the the soul of someone and guide them to the afterlife whereas we don't have that skill because we're very young and still learning about personalities and people so it makes sense that we have to take the longer route of becoming friends with them so that we can kind of hold their hands and grow with them before guiding them into the afterlife
And yes, I am thinking about the deeper lore because it's very important. If you're not here for the roleplay, I don't know why you're here, but I do hope you're having a good time. And he kept everything he found. What a pity. But you're here now. Huzzah, if I dare say. Oh, and don't fret, budding mariner. If ever needed, old Francis will never be too far. But don't let me be an imp uh, impediment to your appetite for adventure. Go on, set sail, little blue jacket. Oh, how cool. Do we have anything we can buy? We have all the stuff we sold him that we could buy back from him. Odd seed. When planted in the garden, it could turn into anything. Hopefully something good. I know we legitimately just worked so hard. Oh, and he has empty bottles. Yes. I know we just worked so hard to like have a ton of money, but... All right, look, I'm gonna buy those empty bottles from him and then we're gonna go ahead and we'll sell a few of our lightning in a bottle to make up the difference. All right. Uh, I sold all of them, I can't believe it. I will sell the bright jelly too, just in case. All right, still not quite to the difference of what we need, but I'm pretty happy with that. I really wish we had, do I wanna sell the maple logs? I'll sell one. All right, not as much as I wish we had, but still. And any errands? Daily quest, what? Okay, I think we're done here. Thank you very much, sir. That was exciting. Hey, good morning, uncle. He's just having a good time. Oh, you need some food, uncle? I'm so sorry. Here, why don't you go ahead and have some grilled fish? There, so now uncle should be feeling better because he has some grilled fish and he's recently eaten a meal he likes and he will repair buildings on the boat, harvest wood and make planks. So that's really good. All right, let's come on in. I can't see my garden because of this gigantic, amazing, really cool floating orb of randomness. I love miscellaneous items like that. I just really do. And now that the sun is finally coming back up, we'll water our plants. And then we'll go ahead and we will pull into the shipyard because the whole reason we were coming here to do all of that trading, we, no, I didn't expect to find the odd merchant, but the whole reason we were coming here is so that we can try to expand our boat. So let's carry on. How much further? Oh look, and there's the odd merchant. You can actually see where he's gonna be on the map now. Okay, I think he's just gonna like take up the spot that should be, should be where the shipyard is. So let's back up a little bit. All right, Odd Merchant. You've encouraged me to go looking for some new things. And now we can ring that bell to say good morning to everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. I've got some fiber I bought. I was going to use it to weave you some thread later, but I can give it to you now if you'd like. Do you want it? Yeah. Cool, and then we end up with the fiber. I didn't actually mean to grab it just then, because it's nice yeah. to let her turn it into thread instead. How's she doing? Doing good? Oh, she recently apparently had a chance to shop. Good morning, honeybee. <gasps> Where are the honeybee? That's so sweet. Was recently hugged, has been having unsettling dreams. Let's try with another set of food. Let's try poached fruit. Oh, thank you, but I'm not hungry right now. Oh. All right, we want to solve Summer's scary dreams. And we want to be able to make all of our friends happy. So we might have to go ahead and try moving a few things around. Like we'll put the little kitchen up here, for instance. And then can I move, uh, what if we put the guest house down here? And then what if we went ahead and built Gwen's Lodge? <gasps> Whoa, Gwen's Lodge would take up so much room. Oh my word. <laughs> but it's kind of really cute this way. So let's put this here. We built Gwen's Lodge. Look at this, it's a house just for Gwen. Is she gonna decorate it with stuff? This is awesome. Gwen, what do you think? I love it. Mm -hmm. This cabin is outstanding. It really does wonders to have a place of your own. Doesn't it remind you of my old condo in Waverly? Mm -hmm. Probably the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. <gasps> we did it! We made her happy and we completed one of the requests. 
Oh, so request and then we have upgrades that we can do. Oh, that's actually super duper helpful. I totally forgot that we can go ahead and figure out how to get a bigger boat and how to be able to upgrade like the blueprint table and get a mailbox. Oh, that's so cool. And shenanigans. Oh, this is so fun, you guys. All right, let's dive into the water. And let's go ahead, find the newest treasures. I think that's a piece. Oh, quartz. Okay, quartz is new. Quartz is definitely new. A valuable necklace, coffee bean seeds, linen seeds. How fun is this? All right, let's head back because I want to be able to upgrade our boat now that we can and now that we know how. And hopefully we can actually get to Albert's place this time. There. The world is getting bigger. Oh. Oh, hey, Uncle. You need something? Uncle Altu? I took a look at your blueprint station. It's nice, I suppose. But you know what would make it even greater? More plans! Bigger buildings! Bigger pencils! I'm just saying. I'm sure Albert at Albert's shipyard could help you out. <laughs> okay, so apparently Uncle definitely, uh, he knew what we were up to already, I think. He knew what we were up to. So then Altu uh, wants to upgrade the blueprint station at the shipping yard. And I'm really worried about Summer. Visit the, mar the, map the spot that Summer has marked out on the map. Okay. Oh, yes? Hi, what's up? I've been thinking about father recently. Ah, uh, I wonder if her father, who she's mentioned several times, I wonder if that's why Gwen is still here. When he left with Doug, I didn't feel anything. No sorrow, mm -hmm. no hate, no relief, nothing. Mm -hmm. It didn't really matter to me. But it mattered to you. You spent three days crying in Aunt Petunia's room. Wait, are you my sister, Gwen? I bought you three sisters and gave you that darn oversized sweater I had knitted a month prior. Mm -hmm. Mum was appalled, but you felt better. Gwen, are you my older sister? I've long wondered why you were so sad. And the best I could come up with is that you were sad in my steed. Oh no, maybe, maybe she's just our friend and we were sad for her. Feeling things I couldn't feel myself. Oh my gosh, the more we unravel of our friends' backstories, the more, like, dramatic it feels. Also, where the heck is Albert? Oh, that's right, I need to take the boat to his shipyard. <laughs> I feel like a silly goose now, thinking that he wasn't around last time. At least we got more, more loot. I haven't been getting your mail for the past month. I'm not a post office. You need to add a mailbox to your boat. Thanks, Albert. Kind of wondering what you were in your previous life, since you know you're a shark here. Just saying. If I get one more letter filled with glitter, I'm losing it. I'm warning you. You might be a customer, but I reserve the right to yell at ya. Get it done! Alright, alright. We'll try to go ahead and do those upgrades. Right now, we want to go ahead and upgrade the blueprint station so that we can have a sawmill, a loom, and a foundry. No idea what we're going to do with those. Then I need oak planks and linen thread in order to make an orchard, a windmill, and a sheep corral. Holy heck. I definitely need a bigger boat. <laughs> Absolutely need a bigger boat in order to hold those things. So we're going to upgrade from the exploring krill to the intrepid otter. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. If we could get to 4,000 gleams, then we can go to the adventurous manatee, which sounds pretty awesome to me. And now if we get four lightning in a bottle, if we get five more linen threads, and if we get some maple planks, we'll be able to have the mailbox. Oh, if only I hadn't sold all of that, the lightnings in a bottle. I heard they just fired an employee at the popcorn factory. He was a good worker, but they found him sleeping on the cob. Oh dear. All right. So let's go ahead and I guess working on the mailbox would be an important next step. Everybody doing good? Aha! I knew somebody was calling for me. Coming, Uncle. I'm going bananas on this ship. I don't have anything to do. I've got this surplus of energy. I need to get my hands busy. Can you do me a solid? You've always been my favorite niece. You know that? I think I need a place to focus that energy. In a sawmill? Yeah! You're just missing some of the key components. Materials! 
which I'm sure you could find on nearby islands. I'm counting on you to help me out. I'm sure you don't want your old uncle sleeping on the deck, right? Oh, that's so cool. So now our uncle wants to actually have a sawmill to be able to like work and sleep in. Also, did did the upgrade add some little books behind my blueprint table? Because that's precious. I love that. And we can improve things now. Oh my gosh. Like, <gasps> we can improve her place so that she would have a little reading corner or a bookcase or wall decorations. Can I improve my place? No. Okay. I, we could add hanging lights into the guest house. Can't improve the garden or the field or the kitchen just yet, but that bodes very well. I can't believe we could like improve things for Gwen. I want to make her the maple or I want to make her like the really beautiful rug and all the other wall decorations that we can just kind of like summon into life. But first, so a loom, time to start weaving those fibers into shiny thread. A sawmill, from logs to planks, let's get some cutting done and a foundry. Smelt your ores into ingots or smelt your problems away. Coal, oh, why on earth? Coal and oak planks, huh? So to get the sawmill, we need more quartz. And to get more quartz, we probably need to look at the nearby islands. And that's gonna take me a little while. So the good news is, Gwen, you're getting a little upgrade. Boom, and now she has a little bit more of a spruced up home. Oh, wow. You guys, I love this. There's just constantly so much to do. Does Gwen like the upgrade, I wonder? Oh, and she's a little hungry, so let's see. Coffee. There we go. I'm really glad that she likes the coffee. She's so happy. Heck, that makes me happy. All right. And I think that these things are ready, sure enough, ready to pull up beets and carrots and everything good and green how delightful ah, and we might move some things around now that we're starting to get more guest houses and i always want to keep the greenery very close at hand <gasps> and the odd seeds let's plant all the odd seeds and see what they're going to become what a fun experiment next time we'll have to go ahead and actually play the plantasia fantasia song to see what they grow into while we are riding the high seas headed to some new location but I do think that we probably want to work on poor Summer's request of being able to figure out exactly what her terrifying dreams are all about. I mean, that's something pretty serious, and we are supposed to be the spirit fair, helping people to kind of settle their past behind them. So we'll work on that next, after I get a few more pieces of corn and some linen planted. Because we don't have Sharon's insightful, quick cuttingness right to the soul of people. So, you know, we've gotta we've gotta make other things work. Oh, summer, yes? How about a little snack, Stella? I'm feeling quite hungry. Alright, let's try poached fruit. Oh, you found my uh, weak sweet spot, dear. I can't say no to a dessert. A delightful sugary perfection. Thank you very much. Haha! <laughs> Yay! She's still really scared from her unsettling dreams, but we've learned she likes desserts. I'm very happy about that. But alright, thank you guys so much for joining us on this adventure. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousand, thousands more as we explore the high seas, the quartz dragon! As we find out what the heck a quartz dragon is, and we adventure further into the spirit realm, then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.